Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition 5G. Now you can pick this one up starting January 11th. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 700 bucks. I repeat, 700 bucks. Now in the USA, we got four colors. Olive, graphite, lavender, and white. Now you may see blue in different markets. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick for the display. You got a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 411 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass on the front, a plastic back, the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant, and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate with 240 hertz touch sampling. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got six or eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with Samsung One UI 4 skin on top. You got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 25 watt charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and you also have PowerShare, also known as reverse wireless charging. For the cameras on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you can shoot video at 4K 60 frames per second and 8K at 24 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. You got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, face unlock, always on display, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, and of course, Samsung DeX. All right, so all of that for 700 bucks. What's missing from my flagship checklist? No quad HD display, no expandable memory, no IR blaster. Yes, I'm gonna keep talking about that. No charger in the box and no headphone jack. That shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, 700 bucks. Let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. Now I hear your white shoes purring directly into the microphone. I hope that's uh, soothing your nerves. Okay, here we go. Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition 5G. Now I promised for the new year I was gonna stop ranting about no charges in the box unless the phone company is advertising fast charging. Okay, now if a phone company is talking about 65 watt fast charging, you're gonna have to prove it. I right? put the charger in the box. But when the phone has regular 25 watt charging, I'm sure everybody had a whole year to pick up one of these little chargers like this. Now y'all know I'm fancy pants, so I got the Tom Brown version. But you gotta have one of these in your house by now. So we're gonna stop ranting about no chargers in the box, even though I don't like that. Now, as far as presentation, nice clean white box. Y'all know I like that, giggity. Inside, this is gonna be your device. Now, I put it back in the box for a dramatic effect, but I've been using it all week long. But I just wanted to show you how the presentation looks. And of course, you're gonna get, let's go ahead and pop this out of here, your SIM ejection tool. Let's see, do we have a cable in here or not? And you do have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable. Okay, that's it. Now, for the device itself, I got the graphite color. Let's go ahead and do the smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like savings, all right, 700 bucks. This is one of the best mid-range phones that I use yet. Now y'all know, for me, mid-range is anything between 400 and 700 bucks. Now I know somebody's gonna say, what about the OnePlus 6? Which one would you get? Well, between this, uh, not the OnePlus 6, uh, the uh, Pixel 6. Between this and the Pixel 6, I would go with this because of four words. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, okay? Not to mention, this has way more features. And you're getting Android 12, okay? Android 12. So you're gonna get all your new widgets, all of your new themes, all of your new uh, Android 12 uh, goodies. Okay, now before I turn this on, let's just do a quick size comparison. Here's your Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Okay, now both of these have the plastic back. 
but the fan edition does have a better front facing camera at 32 megapixels but the regular s21 does have better rear cameras okay shoes <laughs> next up here's a galaxy s21 plus s21 fan edition 6.4 inches 6.7 inches 6.2 inches okay so i know somebody's gonna say which one should you get the easiest way to uh to make your decision is if you don't have none of these all right if you got last year's galaxy s20 fan edition and you're looking to upgrade basically what it comes down to is size okay if you're looking for a smaller size with a plastic back go with the s21 if you're looking for a bigger size with a glass back go with the s21 plus and if you're looking for the sweet spot right in the middle 6.4 inches glass ba uh, plastic back go with the fan edition other than that if you take it to the specs they're pretty much identical phones okay now you do have the big boy okay the ultra 5 gangster let's get in measure this one up this is the biggest one and of course this one has more cameras more features, all of the bells and whistles. So this is the flagship of the flagships. But as far as the S21 series, look, <laughs> I know some of y'all are gonna say, this one kind of smells like a cash grab. I, it just smells like that. One of the things that I love about Samsung, and I can never knock them for, is they give you choices, all right? There's a phone for everybody. Not like Apple with the uh, one size fits all process. This company, <laughs> this company, <laughs> these individuals over here at Samsung, what I respect about them is they give you a bunch of choices. You may want a plastic back phone. Okay, now I can't stress how important that is to some people if you work outside. These plastic back phones are gonna be more durable. Now say you wanted a plastic back phone, but the S21 was just a little bit too small for you, which is a little bit too small for me then go with the fan edition. But if the fan edition is still a little bit too small for you, then you got the plus. Now, if you wanna save up a couple of more dollars, go with the big boy. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll set everything up and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, Samsung went with the plastic back, or as they like to call it, glass stick. All right, plastic that feels like glass. Same thing with last year's S20 Fan Edition. And I gotta say, it does feel good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It kind of feels like frosted glass. And I'm pretty sure if nobody told you this was plastic, you may think it was glass, because if you hold the uh, S21 Plus, it kind of feels the same. Now, personally, I like the glass back phones. They feel a little bit heavier. I like the brushed aluminum sides. But that's just my opinion. You may want a more durable phone if you work outside, you live in that active lifestyle, you got butterfingeritis, you're always dropping your phone. Plastic backs are gonna be more durable. Now, if you're buying this phone for a little kid, definitely go with the plastic back. Did your tri uh, triple camera set up on the rear? You got your flash, mic on the top, power button, where it's supposed to be, nice and low, okay? Volume up and down. On the bottom, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot, there's your SIM tray, and that's pretty much it. Front facing camera, punch hole status, 30, uh, 32 megapixels, simple enough. Now the other speakers on the top. So you do have dual stereo speakers. Now one of the things that I love about Samsung phones, best always on display in the game. The most customizable, not only can you customize the pictures, I know a lot of people are gonna say the Xiaomi phones are just as customizable, but the thing about the Samsung phones with the always on display, you can turn off auto brightness and turn your always on display to max brightness. This way you'll always be able to see it. Now I'm underneath these bright lights and you can clearly see the picture of Amaya. Got the time, the date, your battery percentage and all your notifications nice and colorful. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device, which brings me back to my uh, which which brings me back to my earlier point of why I would choose this phone over the Google Pixel 6. Face unlock. Bong, just like that. Google Pixel 6, no face unlock. Okay, so you got face unlock. I don't have to touch anything, you just pick up the phone, look at it. Bong, pops open just like that. You got on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works way better than the Pixel 6. Yeah, it works every time. 
if you want, you can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin. And if you notice, my color palette has changed because I'm using Android 12. So now with Android 12, it allows you to change your color palette. So what does that mean? My toggles are now orange. Okay, I got access to all of my new widgets. All right, these are the Android 12 Gmail widget. Y'all know some of my favorite Android 12 widgets, the YouTube music. All right, so if I wanna throw in some Mob Deep, just press the button, and we're gonna get the Mob Deep playing just like that. Bam. Got my timer widget, nice big calendar, the new Snapchat widget, uh, and my Netflix. Okay? Now, Snapdragon 888, super smooth, no lag at all. Again, I used this phone for a couple of days, haven't had one issue yet. This is basically the same experience as using any one of the Galaxy S21s that you see on the table. All right, so real quick, let's go through some of the basic stuff. Now, you got all your toggles. I can't really go through everything in this video because just like all the other Samsung phones, there's so much stuff to choose from, okay? But what I will say is this, you do have the new Android 12, you got camera access and microphone access. All right, so if you worry about Big Brother spying on your scumbag activities, any app or website you go to, you can deny your camera access and your microphone access right from the toggles. So that makes this phone very secure, just like the Pixel 6. You got your power saving mode, you got enhanced processing, you got smart view, all right, uh, connect right to your laptop monitor, your TV, you got nearby share, you got live caption, Dolby Atmos, Samsung DeX, NFC, always on display, auto Shazam, basically everything that you want. And if you hit more, you do have some more on the top. Okay, let's take it over to settings. Okay, I'll try to go through this real quick. Now, of course, you do have your uh, uh, <laughs> NFC. <laughs> I got tongue-tied. Your NFC for your Android payments. You get your VPNs and your private DNS for your scumbag activities. And again, you can link this phone to your computer, and you do have your nearby share. Sounds and vibrations. Now, one of the things that I love about Samsung phones, and this, is, again, brings me back to why I like this phone over the Pixel 6, all of the little subtle options and features built into the OS, built into one UI, such as separate app for sound. Now, if you like me and you use a lot of Bluetooth speakers or a lot of Bluetooth headphones, a lot of times you're playing your music from a Bluetooth speaker and you're getting alerts on your phone. Maybe you just posted something on Instagram and now you're getting a little buzz. You got to keep getting those notifications going off in your speaker. I don't like that. Now you can have a separate app for sound. So I can play music from my Bluetooth speaker and I can still get all my notifications going off from the sound on my phone and my, not interrupting my music. That's a nice little touch. You got your sound quality and effects, Dolby Atmos. You got your equalizer. That's my custom floor settings. Screenshot that if y'all want the uh, optimal sound on your phone. But you do have different EQs to choose from. Okay, let's see, anything else we need to see in sound? Not, nothing with that, notifications. Nothing really to see there uh, for, let's see, for, let's see, is there anything, with, with, you do have your brief or detailed, part of your Android 12 lineup. Let's go to display. Now this is in dark mode. You do have adaptive brightness, motion smoothness, 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, 700 bucks, just leave it on high. Now if you want to, you could drop it down to save some battery but I've been using this phone all weekend, haven't had any issues with the batteries. Now, again, this is one more thing that you have to choose from when you're deciding whether you want an S21, S21 Plus, the five gangster, or the fan edition. Battery, the S21 has the smallest battery. So if you need a little bit more battery, but you still want the plastic, go with the fan edition. I know it's a lot of choices to choose from, but Again, we can't be mad at them for giving us choices. We would be more mad if they just drop one S21 and say, here, love it or leave it. They're giving you choices. You don't gotta buy all of them. <laughs> They're giving you choices. I like that. Let's not be mad for having choices. All right, I know, I, I know it smells cash grabby. I know. <laughs> Let me smell. It does smell a little cash grabby, but <laughs> I'm not gonna hold them to that. Okay, let's see anything else. You got your edge panels. Okay, navigation bar. I'll leave mine's on the bong. Oh, one more I wanted to show y'all for the uh, uh, show charging information, side key. Now, if you want to, for your side key, double tap. That's your world star button. And if you press and hold, you can have it on big speed, but I'm pretty sure nobody uses big speed anymore. Just you can turn it to your power off menu. So if you're old school and you're used to holding your phone, the power button to get the power off menu, shoes coming in so hot. <laughs> Shoes, you need to you need to make a little. Didn't anybody tell you to make a little noise when you approaching somebody? 
I almost caught you with the back end off reflex. All right, let's see anything else. Let's go to uh, wallpapers and styles now. Again, y'all see the oh y'all see the live wallpapers. This is another thing that I love with Samsung. Look at that face unlock. You see the live wallpapers for the lock screens. All right, the video lock screens. I'll leave a link for the description if you want to get one of those. But you need that. Now you can change your color palette. Okay, so I got mine on orange, but if you want to go crazy with that. Let's see, anything else? Uh, home screen, mm, nothing to really see here. Oh, rotate to landscape mode. That's another feature right there that you need. <laughs> Again, Android phones better than iPhones. When you get in your car, okay, you wanna be able to rotate your home screen into from portrait mode into landscape mode. Now, if you're like me and you got your car, your phone in your car like this, it just looks better than having your phone like this, and I'm not gonna call out anybody's profession who who does that, because I get a lot of backlash when I say you look like an Uber driver. Bro, there's nothing wrong with being an Uber driver. I, I, respect, I respect anybody that gets up and goes to work. I don't care if you're working at McDonald's, if you're driving Uber. Whenever I make that little joke, people say, oh, I drive an Uber, why are you, why are you talking shit about Uber drivers? Bro, I tip my Uber drivers very well. Okay, <laughs> let me just throw that out there. Cancel culture, man. Cancel culture got me walking on eggshells, dude. <laughs> all right, let me, let, I know, I'm just kidding, man. I don't give a fuck about cancel culture. All right, let's see. Let's say anything else. Um, lock screen. Okay, always on display. You got your smart lock. Everything's on deck. Biometrics and security. Okay, face unlock, fingerprint sensor. You do got smart lock. You got all your Samsung Pass secure folders. All right, for all y'all scoundrels out there, you got your secure folders. You got private share. Okay, you got everything. All right, this phone has everything the big boys have. Okay, this is not a little boy phone. This is a big boy. Let's say anything else. Uh, let's go to advanced features. Now, you do have your labs. Like I said, you can link to your Windows. Call on text on other devices. So this way, if you got a Samsung laptop or a Samsung tap, a Samsung tablet, you turn on call and text from other devices, and now you can text message and make phone calls right from your laptop. I showed that when I did my last uh, Samsung tablet review. Samsung Dex, Android Auto, Quick Share, Labs, Motions and Gestures, Lift to Awake. All right, so if you're using Face Unlock, make sure you turn on Lift to Awake. Double tap to turn on the screen. Double tap to turn the screen off. Keep the screen on while viewing. All of the basic features, okay? Mute with gestures, palm swipe to capture, bang. Everything is on deck. Let's see anything else. Uh, you got your digital well-being, okay? If you're on Instagram more than three hours a day, make sure you check your digital well-being. And if you got kids, you got your parental controls. Got your battery status right here, okay? One thing that's also dope. Oh, check this out. Let me show you how this real quick. Do I have a charger? Let me get it. Let me grab a charger real quick. Let me see how fast I can do this. They do have, finally. Now, this was one of my gripes that people called me petty for, but look at this. Finally, a new animation. All right, now look, y'all remember these animations? Y'all remember this one? Oh, this phone is fully charged. Let's try it, let's see, on. let's try it on the S21, on the Ultra. Okay, this one does have the updated animation too. Okay, I did that, <laughs> okay. I think I didn't get it on this one though. Now, of course, I gotta keep pulling out phones that are fully charged. Well, you get my, you, you get the idea. Y'all remember the old animations. Now you got updated animations, <laughs> all right? You got your Samsung Pay. All right, shout out, shout out to my Galaxy Fold for uh, trolling me in this video. Again, this brings me back to one of my other points. Choices, all right? If you want a foldable phone, you got a foldable phone. You want a flippable phone, you got a flippable phone. You want budget phones, you got the A22, the A13, A10, A6. You got 101 choices, okay? Let's see, anything else we need to see with the uh, settings? Okay, so this is your battery settings. This is one of the new animations that just made me uh, remember the animations. Uh, software update, tips and trips, and that's tips, tips and trips. <laughs> tips and help, <laughs> I said trips. Okay, so that's it for the settings. Again, no lag on this. There's your Google feed. Let's swipe down and see what we're talking about. Rolex watches, expensive, hard to find. Star Trek. Y'all see the kind of stuff I'm, I'm into? <laughs> right, if you want to know what somebody's into, just look at their Google feed. All right, that'll, that'll let you know everything you need to know about them. No lag, smooth. Let's go to, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to Samsung.com. Okay, Snapdragon 888. So, of course, you're going to get those 888 speeds. 
Now, since I'm doing the video, of course, it's going to troll me. And we you know that, that would only be right. Okay. Now, see, Samsung, I try to give y'all a plug. Go to apple.com. You know, I, I, I try to give them a plug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and this is what this is what happens. Now, I'm doing this in real time. Oh, you know what? I might I might be on the uh, on the Obama Wi-Fi. Let me make let me see which Wi-Fi I'm on. Yeah, I'm on Obama Wi-Fi. Hold on. Let me let me, let me switch. Let me do that again. Let me switch to a different Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, my bad, y'all. I was on Obama Wi-Fi. I had to switch. <laughs> I had to switch to my new Wi-Fi. Go to Samsung.com. All right, so you see the difference now. Bong, there it is. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's still holding on to Obama Wi-Fi. I'm rocking until they come and collect the router. Now, of course, you do have split screen multitasking. And you have your pop-up view. So we can open up as a pop-up. Minimize it to the little ball. Take it over to Facebook. Open this up. Full screen. Bang, just like that. Or if you want to, you can just do split screen view. Okay. So I got Facebook on the top, Galaxy on the bottom, just like that, and we can switch them around. No issues at all with this phone as far as performance. All right, now I hate to leave any stone unturned, so let me show you again what I meant by the animation. Here's the old one. Y'all remember that little white circle? That was kind of trash. Now we got the new one. Nice and colorful. Now let's check the dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos and custom EQ settings. Of course, I got the official floor seat card of sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? Okay, here's the bottom firing speaker covered up. Top speaker still nice and loud. You can feel the bass. Speakers are nice and loud, no issues at all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Now let's check out this beautiful dynamic AMOLED panel. Got my usual test video queued up. Basically bezel-less display, excellent viewing angles. A lot of nits with the brightness. All right, it's a lot of nits. Beautiful. This is how you want to watch your videos. Let's keep it moving. Now here's another reason why I would pick this phone over the Google Pixel 6, Samsung One UI. Now they did a lot of updates to it, a lot of refreshes, so it's clean, it's smooth, it's user friendly, and you're gonna get access to all of the Samsung features, like one of my favorites, the edge panels. So I got my People's Edge, this is the one that I use the most. You got a bunch of different ones, you can add an event, take a selfie, videos, you got the weather, I got a compass, got a whole bunch of different apps, if I want to, immediate split screen. Uh, you can customize that if you want. But this is the one that I use the most, this panel right here. Now check this out, rectangle. This is perfect for Instagram. If you wanna reshare a photo, you can hit done. And if I want to, I can extract all of the text out of that one photo. So that's pretty dope. And then I can just share it just like that. Here's another one, oval. Same thing, but if you wanna get an oval pattern, 
Bong just like that, save it or share it. And of course you got animation and pin the screen. Now I'll show you animation right now, but first let's do pin the screen. So say I'm on Facebook and I wanna pin something to the screen. Let's go ahead and pin that. Pin the screen, that little folder right there, bong. Now I can continue using my phone with this pin to the screen. So this is perfect for if you got a little spreadsheet or something, pin it to the screen and go check everything else. Then once it's pinned, if I want to, I can download it, close it into a little circle like that, or just remove it. Now for animations, let's go to YouTube. Now say I wanna make a quick animation, let's go to animation. We hit record. Now you got up to 15 seconds. Stop just like that and bong. Look at that. All right, now I'll do that one more time. Let me do that without something else that has something interesting on it. We'll do animation. Hit record. Now say I want to make a little animated video and send it to somebody. Bong, just like that. Now it can be any video that you want, so use your imagination, fellas. All right, this is a real scummy feature if you use it that way. But I use all my apps for good though, <laughs> for good purposes. Exit out of that, you do have your picture in picture. Everything works, pretty dope. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. 240 hertz touch sampling rate, perfect for your mashing, all right? Now I never mash, but some of y'all be mashing in these video games. Let's go. Ice shoes. Don't try to make me lose the race. Here we go. Okay, tap and hold the drip. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. I, I wasn't holding it. All right. Here we go. Okay, I wrapped already. Okay. Oh, see, I'm trying to get cute. I missed my jump. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Let's see if I can do the 360. Let's go. I'm all over the road. But you see for yourself, no lag doing the 360s. There it is. All right, so you're not going to have any issues gaming on this phone. Snapdragon 888 is gonna handle anything in the Android market. Now let's talk about the camera. Now say you got your phone on the table, you having lunch, somebody about to get punched in the mouth, you grab your phone, hit the power button twice, yell out World Star, and you can start recording just like that. All right, so let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got single take, you got portrait mode, and wide angle portrait mode. You got photos. Now photos, you got wide angle, all the way up to 30 times zoom. Okay, now you have video. Now one quick correction at the beginning, I think I said 8K video. You got 4K 60 frames per second. 8K is the S21, S21 Plus, S21 Ultra. So that's one of the other differences, no 8K video. But you got 4K 60 frames per second. You got night mode and you got more. So you got AR Doodle, Pro Mode, Panorama, Food, Portrait Video. Okay, that's kind of like cinematic mode. You got pro video, change all your settings. You got super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse, and dual recording. That's kind of like director's view, where it's you and the subject being recorded at the same time. Now, let's take a look at some test pictures and videos.
Now, one more thing about the camera, you do have object eraser, which is similar to Google's magic eraser. So I just took a photo, we go to gallery, go to edit, we go to object eraser. Now say I wanna get rid of that hand warmer, draw a little circle around that, hit erase, bang, just like that. That's a dope feature. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition a major, major, major go. And at 700 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Remember, do not look at this phone as an upgrade from any of the other Galaxy S21s. Look at it as an option, okay? It's not an upgrade, it's an option. If you already have any one of these other Galaxy S21s, you don't need this. But if you got last year's Fan Edition, Here's your choices, okay? Plastic backs, okay? 8K video, glass backs, top of the food chain, bigger, the smallest, right in the middle. You got choices, okay? That's the theme of this video. You got another choice, another uh, phone to choose from. Anyway, it's gonna be hard to find another phone for 700 bucks that has all of these features and that will work on all of your carriers. You gotta keep that in mind. I know a lot of people are gonna say, what about the Realme phones? What about Redmi? What about Xiaomi? All of those phones have dope options that come in a mid-range package. But the problem is, if you got Verizon, you asked out. If you got Verizon and you got 700 bucks, you can get a Pixel 6 or you can get this phone right here. Now, in my opinion, this is a better buy. You got face unlock. Right, the fingerprint sensor works better, and you got way more features. Not to mention, it's a little bit more durable because of the non-glass back. Now the Pixel does have its advantages. You do have a glass back, okay? You're gonna get all of the latest Android updates first, but that's neither here nor there because this one does have Android 12, so you're right up to date. And again, you can rock this on any carrier. You got Bob's Fish and Chips and Wireless, you can rock it on that too. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Dream Gangs is on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, 
all y'all trolls. Close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.